Ever since I was a kid, I've always been fascinated by electronics and computers, but I grew up before things like the Arduino or Raspberry Pi existed. Cheap computers like that just weren't around yet, and what was available was big, expensive, and not very easy to use. So I didn't really get into writing code until my parents got a big clunky home computer at some point. But analog components were really easy to find. If you wanted to make an LED blink, you probably didn't upload code to a microcontroller. You went to Radio Shack and picked up up some capacitors and transistors. Plus, things like toys and other electronics had fewer integrated circuits and almost no surface mount components, so it was much easier to modify and repurpose those devices. These days, if you take apart random electronics, you'll probably only find some black boxes soldered to the surface of a PCB, which isn't very useful for learning. Aside from taking all of my toys apart, another way that I used to experiment with electronics was with project kits like this. And I still think that these kits are one of the best ways to learn. Sure, most devices these days use integrated digital circuits, so you might think that this technology is outdated. But these kinds of analog components will teach you a lot about electricity in general, and they'll also let you experiment firsthand with fundamental properties like capacitance and resistance. The design of these boards is simple, but really effective. Each component is connected to little springs like this, and you can attach wires to them just by bending the spring and inserting the exposed end of the wire. This way, you can create countless circuits just by changing how everything is wired together. The kits come with a pretty hefty book, which makes sense because we didn't have the internet on our phones back then. In fact, normal people didn't even own cellular phones, and the internet wasn't nearly as organized or easy to search. So a thorough a book like this was important. But inside it, you'll find not only a bunch of different projects, in this case 130 of them, you'll also find a useful explanation of each component at the beginning. Plus, every project adds a little bit of insight into how all of these components work together. Each project includes a circuit diagram and the wiring sequence, which tells you how to connect everything. See, every spring is numbered, and every line in the wiring sequence tells you which springs to wire together. For the first chapter, there's also a picture of the completed board, just to make it easier to tell whether or not you're following the instructions correctly. The rest of the chapters assume that you'll figure it out from the schematics and wiring sequence. Well, anyway, I just thought I'd share this little bit of electronic nostalgia with everyone. There are still places that sell these kits, so I'll leave some links in the description if you're interested. And I'll end this video by building a few of the projects from the book. 